As a creator, sometimes it's challenging trying to think of new and cool ways to express your content. For example, how can you showcase your fashion hauls without things getting too repetitive or boring? Or keeping your makeup tutorials interesting so your viewers keep watching. Hey everyone, it's me, JJ from Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. If you haven't heard already, we've just launched Filmora 9's latest version update 9.2. In this update, we've included the render button and split screens. And even better, we've included animations with a split screen feature for an even more creative experience. But I bet you're wondering, JJ, what do you mean? So in this video, I'm gonna show you three cool ways to use a split screen feature in 9.2. So let's get started. I'm just kidding. But if you want to know how we made this video, here's how to do it. First, plan four different outfits and decide on one item to pass between the frames. For the first outfit, I showcase the clothes with the jacket and then toss the jacket to my left, which is camera right. Then I change it to the second outfit for the second frame and I had someone toss me the jacket from the right side so that when we edit it together, it looks like I toss the jacket to myself. For the bottom right screen, I decided to drop the jacket down just like this. Then I got dressed into the third outfit and had someone throw the jacket straight down into my arms. I showcased the third outfit and then moved the jacket into the final screen. The only way this works is if you have a rough timing of how long the entire video is. Because you need to record every outfit the same duration so that when you edit it together, you have enough material to keep the video going in all four screens. To edit this together, we're going to open up Filmora 9 and up at the top, click the split screen tab. We have so many options to choose from, but for this one, I'm going to use split screen 18. I double clicked on the split screen layer to open up advanced settings, and I made sure to deselect the enable split screen animation. I imported the first clip into the first screen and made sure to edit so that it's timed perfectly between the screens. Be sure to take your time and perfect the timing between the clips while editing. You can also customize the color and thickness of the border if you like. It's right under the video tab on the top menu bar. Our second idea to use split screens is to jazz up a makeup video, like this. To achieve this kind of edit, all you have to do is open up Filmora 9, go through your makeup video, and pick highlights. I've chosen these four clips to add to the split screen. I'll be using split screen 30 to add more interest to the shots. Next, I added three more of the same split screen layer to my timeline and disabled the animation for all of them. I'm going to edit them in order from left to right so that they're timed to play in the respective screens and have the other frames cut to white while the action is carried out in the screens. Repeat this step to the other split screens, but switch out the frames for each to achieve this pop-up effect. Matching this to the music will further enhance the edit and build up anticipation to reveal the finished look. For the final tip, we're gonna use split screen to create a fun music clip, like this. One, two, three, four. To edit this together, open up Filmora 9 and import the clips. Then choose Split Screen 5 and add the clips of each beat separately. Play with the edit until the timing is perfect and sounds like a unified melody. 
I wanted Johnny to come up in each frame as each melody starts to play. So I added a white solid to the timeline and moved it to the left so it doesn't cover the right frame. Then I added another white solid to hide the left frame and cut it right before the left frame appeared. And there you have it! Three awesome, cool, fantastic ways to use split screen in Filmora 9.2. Which is your favorite from the list? And which one are you going to try? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more video editing tips and tricks. Keep creating! Bye!